the only time I felt worth anything was when I was drinking. And it was a nice long time where that was okay, where I was able to be functional, where I didn't make a fool out of myself. My husband was a physician, so I didn't have to work, so I had the joy of, well, I thought it was joy at that time, of drinking morning, noon, and night. And that's where alcohol took me. Um, my husband at the time would come home, and there were a number of times where he found me passed out on our front lawn, because uh, I had gone out to let the dogs out, and um, passed out. We ended up um, separating, because he couldn't take this anymore. Uh, at that time, I, my alcohol took me to the point of really being violent. I'd come into the kitchen in the morning, right before we separated, there'd be a hole in the wall from a mirror I threw, or a hairbrush I threw, or a bottle that I threw. Alcohol um, took away everything that I had, took away my self, the self-esteem that I did have. I would lay there on our sofa, and we had a high cathedral ceiling. And I'd lay there on the sofa, figuring out how I can end this. I just can't take this pain anymore. And there was a balcony, and I would lay there looking up at that ceiling thinking, I'll just go tie a rope around, throw it over the ceiling fan, and then just jump off the balcony and hang myself. One day when my husband left to go to work, and I went in to pour my drinks to start the day, make a big pitcher, and I heard the front door open, and I walked to the foyer, and in walks my husband, my mother, my father, his mother, my sister, and my cousin, who was a therapist. Um, and I knew why they were there. I knew it was an intervention. I ended up coming down to Turning Point in Florida, and I stayed six months as a client there. The first thing that hits me is, is the warmth and the love that I felt when I got here. Um, welcoming, welcoming me with open arms and people that worked here gave me hope. People that worked here had what I had. They had the disease that I had. Um, maybe not the same story, but oh boy, the same feelings. And I saw how they were, how they functioned, the joy that they had in their lives, the hope they had in their eyes. Um, and I so wanted that, and that's what kept me coming back. There's hope, there is hope. And when I didn't feel like there was hope, people gave me hope. So what I would say to somebody who's feeling that total black hole, that so alone feeling, is hold on to the hope that we have. Hold on to the hope that people gave us. And that's why they call it a WE program, because we don't do it by ourselves. Turning Point saved my life. Turning Point saved my life. And that's why I struggle so hard to give the clients that come through here hope. I can only speak for myself personally because I'll say to clients, um, I can't understand exactly how you feel, but gosh, I got a good idea. Um, I've sat in that chair and many times I'll just take their hands and hold their hands and say, I know you don't think you've got any hope right now, but hold on to the hope that I have for you. And there's nothing that you have to do today except follow direction and just stay in the moment and do what we suggest that's done. And you do those things and wow, the gifts that are in store for you are just incredible.